guys, it's Mrs. McCallie again. The book of today is called The Masterpiece, written by Mr. J. This book is a really sweet and adorable book, and one of my lovely English students, Connor, wanted to be part of our book today. He chose this book. The next clip you're going to see is a picture of Connor. Hope you enjoy the book. In the back of the studio behind lumps of clay to the left of the canvas where the paint cans would spray on a dusty old table, there was littered with chalk the paintbrushes gathered for an artistic talk. The first one to speak was a paintbrush named Reese who said, let's create a grand masterpiece, something with color to fill many pages, to be remembered by all and to last through the ages. The paintbrushes cheered and raced to begin, except for one brush who didn't join in. A brush named Estelle sat off to the side and stared at the wall with her eyes open wide. She rocked back and forth as though in a small boat and she sang to herself with a single low note. Her single note song, her continuous hum, and the others knew well where this hum had come from. They had heard it before and knew this was her way. Then two went on over to ask her to play. They gave her some paint, red, yellow, and blue, and if you like to come paint, we'd love to have you. So the brushes got started with large vibrant strokes, painting valleys and lakes, elm trees, and oaks. They created a forest with sleepy brown fox and on one of the hillsides, they painted some rocks. They all worked together, setting the mood, theme, and tone. When they noticed that Byron had gone off on his own, he ignored all the others and he had not made a sound. He just painted the circles around and around. It was clearly quite different. There couldn't be no denying, but they didn't make fun or send him off crying. Instead, they all stopped and resgathered the crew. And for just a few moments, they made circles too. They painted some more and worked well as a team when they suddenly heard a startling scream. They jumped back in shock and they turned around to see that the one who had screamed was a paintbrush named Lee, who spun all around, shaking all the bristles and painted and hit the canvas like a green dotted missile. Then he made a green splotch and an angry green line while Reese calmed the others said, don't worry, it's fine. He just can't control it. There's no need to be scared. And the next time it happens, you'll be more prepared. The outburst had ended and they all settled down and they added more colors, pink, purple, and brown. They worked through the day and they stopped and admired the wisdom their now painted canvas inspired. Their painting was perfect. It all meshed just fine with its colorful circles and its angry green line. It was a true masterpiece. No one thing was wrong, including the hum of their single note song. And I hope you enjoyed this book. We're all a masterpiece. All different colors, all amazing. Have a great day.